Hey, hello again. Here's a uh, update to my blog uh, with some data that I've posted today. This is a, a little experiment I did at a lake using the lake as a level to set some stakes. I'll go through and describe um, what, what I have here and I'll leave a link to this blog so you can come and get this data. I'll leave the link in the uh, description to this video. Uh, first of all, I'll show you. Well, first of all, let me talk about this a minute. Th this is a uh, Union Lake in Millville, and I set some points on either side of the lake. And um, I'll show you where that is. I set two stakes on the shore of the southwestern side and two stakes over on the northeastern side you know like a boat ramp area and you can clearly visit you know you have good visibility across here and it turns out that this is about a half a mile across and you're seeing also the uh, vectors that I processed from a uh, continually operating reference station here, and I you know, pulled that data off of the internet. So I logged carrier phase GNSS data and also made numerous repetitions of uh, theodolite observations using the wild T2 theodolite. So that kind of orients you to this, uh, this, you know, this area, what I, what I was doing there. There's not much to it, you know, not too, not too much to it. I'll just close that, save that. So carrying on here through the blog, I'll describe what, what I did. I set uh, two stakes to be level with one another, and I measured what that height was above the water. Basically, I set a stake near to, near, in the water, put a stone here, uh, the water was very calm, and I was able to measure up 0 0.175 meters so that when I went across to the other side, I made sure that the stakes I set were the same. And that's what I'm talking about here. All, all four stakes are set to be the same height above the water. And um, here you're seeing what I did was I set the GNSS receiver on one of the stakes, and this is a two meter fixed height rod, so it's two meters above the stake. And um, here I have the target set over a stake, and I measured the height. And then every time I moved the target, that's the height I set it at. And that's not easy to do, but that's what I did. So that every single time I put the target over any one of these four stakes, that's the height that I set it to. And uh, here on this side, you're seeing, again, I have the GPS receiver set next to me. Um, it's two meters above the stake. And the theodolite is set to be at the same height as the target. So across the water, I'm basically looking at a target that is set at the same height above the stake as the theodolite. And both stakes are set at the same height above the water. I hope that makes sense. So then I'm showing you pictures. Whoops, I don't know how that happens. Page up. I flew down here. Here we go. <clears throat> Again, I'm showing you that each uh, target was set to be a uh, level, precisely leveled over each stake. And the theodolite, each time it was set up, uh, was also precisely leveled. And then here I'm showing you a picture <clears throat> of uh, a pointing done here uh, to the top of the GNSS pole or to the bottom of the uh, GNSS receiver. So I made numerous repetitions of zenith angles and horizontal angles to both the uh, top of the pole and also to the target <clears throat> next to the uh, pole. 
and uh, okay, so that's what I'm showing you here. Later in the day, the sun became a problem a little bit, so I got the old uh, current umbrella out and cast some shade to uh, minimize that. The sighting uh, was still very good. And uh, here's a side view just showing you that current umbrella casting a nice shadow on the instrument. Let's see. <clears throat> so basically I'm just showing you a snapshot of the GNSS processing I did between all the points. This is the uh, Rhinex data. And by the way, if you're interested in this topic, I did a video on... Um, on GPS, you can find it, you know, on my channel. And I talk about Rhinex data. Uh, so that's the data I collected, and I also have the data that I downloaded uh, from the internet to this CORS station. Uh, here I'm showing you just the input where I key in all of the theodolite observations. And then here I'm just showing you a snapshot of the results of a combined least squares adjustment of all of that data resulting in these positional tolerances on all four stakes reported at 95% confidence, uh, or it's known as two sigma. And coming down here, here's the final results tabulated for you. The standpoint is, is from each stake the four point is the two stake I'm measuring to. I'm showing you the elevation at one stake to the other stake and the delta elevation. And um, ideally, you know, we'd like this column to be uh, zero, but, you know, I'm just reporting exactly uh, the results I got. I'm pretty happy to say that I was able to keep all of this within a half an inch, a four hundredths of a foot. Uh, most of them are definitely at the eighth inch level. So and I'm going to say like on the outside threshold or the worst case, I've got all of this sandwiched inside of a half an inch, which is pretty good. Uh, the next column over are the adjusted angles, the adjusted zenith angles. Uh, you know, reciprocal, basically from one to the other and back, back to the other. And here's the sum of those reciprocals uh, minus the 180, which closely agrees with what I compute as what would be the delta arc using just a spheroid. You know, this is not the ellipsoid and it's not, you know, this is a very small area. It's only a half mile at best. It's a, you know, 0.48 miles. So, you know, this is a rough approximation and it's good enough for what we're doing here. So basically, my zenith angles adjusted agree with uh, that computation. And then here is the column <clears throat> just using this uh, ever, ever so useful, <laughs> or uh, uh, what should I say, commonly known 8 inches times the miles squared. And so basically, the drop across that, ha that half a mile would be less than 2 inches. But it's uh, measurable, and uh, I did measure it. So there it is. Um, and that's it. I just wanted to show you this little test. And uh, if I had a laser, I would probably try using that. But I don't. So I'm using a precise theodolite. And I'm able to uh, you know, show you this type of measurement over a very short distance and using the lake as the level surface, we can still detect the curvature across that lake. And that was really the point of this experiment. So I think I'll just uh, close here, and I'll probably just include a few video clips of me uh, you know, at the lake uh, following me speaking here. And that's it. I'll sign off. Uh, Oh, by the way, if you're if you like this type of uh, these, these types of videos that I'm doing, uh, please share them and subscribe to my channel. And I've got a few more videos in the works coming up. And uh, that's it. I'll say so long for now. Talk to you again soon. All right. Bye bye.